Good morning. This morning's verse is Proverbs 12, 25. Worry weighs a person down. An encouraging word cheers a person up. Now, this sounds like just decent advice, right? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> That's kind of what our parents told us growing up. But worry takes, takes hold of us in so many ways. I mean, it's, it's a fear and anxiety. It can be things we can control, things we can't control. But the one thing we do need to remember is that God is in control. And this is where we run into a problem. You see, when we start to worry, we start to put more faith in ourselves because of our ability. What can I do? How can I fix it? But we shouldn't have as much faith in ourselves as we do in God. So when we start to worry, we're actually putting our faith in ourselves and worrying if we can deliver. So therefore, we are actually placing ourselves above God. We need to put our faith completely in God and believe in Him and trust in His abilities and not worry about our own. You see, most of the time we worry about things that are in our real house, so to speak, and things that we want to get done on time and do our best job, etc. But we need to keep in mind the things that are really important. Now, if we look at this further, worry weighs a person down. Okay, we get that. We've all been under that rock. We've all felt that weight. An encouraging word cheers a person up. Now, when we give an encouraging word, what are we doing? We're actually loving somebody. God's second commandment, love others. That is the way to love God, is to love others. So, so this proverb is actually reminding us of part of the second commandment, to love others, to make others burden less, share the load. Don't add to their worry, lessen it. We go through our lives every single day being weighed down by everything around us in the news and and, and on TV and the radio and the newspapers, etc. You know, I remember when COVID first hit, as crazy as this sounds, I wanted to stay on top of everything just like everybody else, but I went to a choir practice one night and I remember that Mark said to me, he said to everybody, he said, listen, if the news is getting to you, it's okay to just turn it off. That sounds so obvious. And, and it, it's stupid to say that I just needed to hear somebody say to me, it's okay, just turn it off. And I also find it interesting that about six months later um, at choir one morning, I, 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 I grew up in choir and singing and, and you know what it's like through high school and when you're kids, you've got people competing and you got the competitions for you know first and second chair in the in the orchestra and the band to beat somebody off of their their seat and there's all that competitiveness. But I remember before the very first time I stood at the front of the, of the platform at church, I remember somebody saying to me, it was it was Maria. I remember her saying to me, "You're gonna do great," and that hit me like a ton of bricks because it was something that I wasn't used to hearing. I was used to being in competition with people to try and do better than everybody else. But in that moment, I realized that absolutely everybody on that platform with me was actually with me. We were all marching towards the same thing. We were all aiming at the same goal. We were all trying to do our best. We were all there to give each other an encouraging word. And that's one of the most incredible things about being part of the worship arts department. And, and granted, I just do a, a small part, but what an amazing group of people that I found myself surrounded in and, the, and the, the encouraging word that comes from absolutely every angle. When somebody walks in and they're having a bad day, you can see it. And it doesn't take much more than just taking a couple minutes to let them know that, that they're not alone and that they'll get their way through it. And it's a fantastic feeling to know that no matter what we're all going through, somebody is there with an encouraging word every single time that I walk in those doors. What an incredible view of God's second commandment and how we're supposed to love him through loving each other. So again, Proverbs 12, 25, worry weighs a person down and encouraging word cheers a person up. Father God, thank you so much for seemingly stating the obvious, but reminding us that, that you are behind it all reminding us that the true way to love you is to, to not only love you directly, but love all of your children. Once we agree with and Lord, ones that we don't. 
probably more importantly ones that we don't. We have the opportunity to encourage our brothers and sisters in Christ by, by being there with them. But Lord, we have the ability to change somebody's eternity or to be part of that change that you do by loving the people that, that we don't see eye to eye with. Lord, we walk around this world and we watch on TV and the news and the newspapers and radio and everywhere else and we see people divided, everybody trying to win their own way. But Father God, we need to remember that there is only one way. And Lord, that way is your way. So please help us in, in this day to walk forward with an encouraging word for everybody that we see. Let's look for opportunities so that we can share your love and let's take those opportunities to let people know that we come in contact with today that maybe aren't having the best day, that you're there, that Father God, you are there to make this their best day ever. Father God, we thank you, we love you. We could not be happier and more blessed that you took the time to love us the way that you do. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your, your son and the sacrifice that was made for us such that we get to look forward to an eternity with you. In you and your son, in the Holy Spirit's name, amen. I remember how you told me that life may not be easy And everything that I need You've already given me I remember how you told me I can trust you completely So why am I doubting When you proved that you'd fight for me Walk me through fires, you pull me from flames. When you're in this with me, I won't be afraid. The smoke billows higher, going higher, and it feels like I can barely breathe. I walk through these fires. You're walking with me, yeah. I walk through these fires as you're walking with me. Let's go out and walk together with each other and with God and brighten somebody's day with an encouraging word. We'll see you soon. God bless.